Hitting coach Scott Kumal had to be happy with that hitting. Opposite field hits to get in a run. Yeah, they were nice. It was a nice first inning. We got the uh, nice bunt by Dickerson to lead it off with a with a walk, and then obviously a couple of two strike hits. Those are always nice, especially when you're driving a run. Well, how's spring training been going, Scott, for you and the uh, Oriole offense? It's been good. Uh, guys have been real receptive. Some things we've been trying to do this spring, and. Um, you know, they've been carrying it over to the field, and some good things have been happening. I've really liked our bats for the most part. We, uh, we've extended them, and uh, we limited uh, the strikeouts. So that's good. What things are you trying right. to implement that you hope will make the team better hitting? Well, I mean, I, I think there's just, you know, just the mindset going up to the plate, um, you know, getting a good pitch to hit. That's the kind of the, the industry talk. But, um, you know, if you can eliminate Chase early in the count and late in the count, um, you're giving yourself a chance. And, you know, these guys are so good that um, if they get a good pitch to hit, they're going to put it and play hard somewhere. And it was indicative of that uh, this uh, first inning. Hey, Scott, how much are you monitoring uh, Jones and Machado when uh – Castillo out on the road. Well, we're always keeping updates on them. Um, you know, obviously, anytime we get a chance to see them on TV uh, when they're playing, uh, I try to do that and watch some of the bats. I, I saw Wellington's opposite field home run and Jonesy's uh, game winner last night. So, uh, you know, we're always staying on top of those guys. And if they if they need something, uh, we'll, we'll get something out to them. Now, with uh, those players away, and they're all three you mentioned regulars, uh, that's giving other players a chance to to perform here and show you and Buck Showalter what they could do. Has anyone really uh, stuck out and uh, really has impressed you here? Well, I mean, you know, there's been a couple guys. I mean, you don't want to name just one or two. I think that uh, all the guys are going out there competing. We've got a great group. Um, you know, Chris Johnson, um, um, you know, has been playing every day at third and, and getting a chance to play every day and see what he can do. He looks a lot, a lot freer this spring. You know, the Tavares, the Rule 5, and the Santander have been uh, nice young guys that, uh, you know, have some upside. Um, and then the guys that uh, are just trying to get back on track, somebody like a Gentry or, you know, and Rickard after the injury, they both look good so far. So, um, you know, it's been a great spring. I've enjoyed working with these guys. They're hungry, and uh, everybody's going out there and, and uh, competing. Opposite field double by Austin Meadows, so a runner at second with one down. Hey, uh, we were watching the other day something new brought into Oriole camp, uh, the game of Pepper. Uh, yeah. Was that your idea? <laughs> <laughs> I knew, Bordy, you'd bring that up, but that, that's, a, that's an old school, that's old school there, you know, every time you come in these ballparks, you see the big sign that says no pepper, and, you know, Buck and I talked about it a little bit in the off season, and then we kind of brought it up um, about a week ago and, and said, hey, why don't we introduce uh, the pepper to these guys and, and make it fun, you know, it works a lot of things, um, you know, controlling the bat, you know, ma making you hit to each fielder. Uh, the fielders get their fielding in a little bit, and it just kind of gets those guys interactive. Back in the day, as you know, Bordy, those guys used to be in the left field, right field line before a game, and the, nobody would want to be in the clubhouse. And you get out there and you play a little game of pepper or some flips or something like that to get you get you going for the day. So um, guys really bought into it. Uh, they were energized, and uh, they had a lot of fun with it. So I think we'll continue it. That's awesome. So the pepper games, there's a bouncer to short. Yanich will play at the first, Meadows to third, and two down. And for our viewers, here's uh, the Pepper games that Mike and Scott are talking about, that hand-eye coordination, right, Scott? Yeah, you know, it, it, you know, a lot of people say that it's just kind of crazy, but, um, you know, when these guys get into it and they can control the bat, it kind of gives them a sense of just, you know, knowing what they're trying to do. Um, you know, you hear a lot about, you know, the strikeouts and making contact and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, and not that that's going to help, but... You know, it gives these guys an understanding that, is, that if I control the barrel and, um, you know, put a good swing on a ball, I can move it around where I want to, just like Trumbull did, and then a base hit to two strikes to right field ground ball. I mean, those are big hits right there, and um, that's how you uh, get 100 RBIs every year. Well, you talk about back control, and, and really, isn't that the key? I, I talked to you before about even teaching younger kids how to hit. The ability to put the bat head on the baseball is the key, no matter really where it is. And as you get older, you start developing your strike zone and, and that kind of discipline. But it, it was when we were watching them play pepper, you could actually see guys choke up just for that type of bat control. Absolutely. You know, you want to, I mean, I call it barrel accuracy. You know, anytime that you can put the sweet spot of the bat on the ball, 
um, you got a good chance because a lot of these guys are so strong and you know just controlling that barrel and understanding and where it is when I in a good hitting position and I can take it from A to B directly to the ball I'm giving myself a good chance and you know you see that when we're going really well um, it doesn't matter who's up there uh, a lot of good things happen so that's what we're kind of trying to emphasize this spring and hopefully carry it over in the season. Well, Scott, I know it's a lot of hard work for the coaches. Long days, uh, night game last night, Fort Myers, and right back at it today. Uh, we appreciate the visit and continued success. Well, thank you very much. We won't have to worry about that shutout now. We got two on the board. So. <laughs> there you go. That's Scott Coolball, the Orioles hitting coach, joining us from the first base dugout.